What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time joining me today, my name is Noah Cavanaugh and I'm a professional soccer player from Seattle, Washington. I am here back home on my favorite pitch. This is the pitch that I grew up playing on and I'm just really excited to be back. Obviously I can't play, I'm just out here with my camera doing some sunrise stuff, um, but so excited to have you guys on the channel. Today's gonna be a day in the light video. I've got some rehab stuff, I've got a work at bike workout and a lift back at home this morning, um, rehab later on this afternoon, and then just a lot of YouTube editing and working stuff. So I'll show you some sneak peeks of some stuff that I'm working on for you guys, boot reviews and some other programs as well. So stay tuned for the whole video, make sure you subscribe subscribe to the channel and like it if you're getting value from it. As always guys, be awesome. Let's hop into the video. I'm super excited to get back on the pitch. First of all, because they redid these fields. Um, this is Magnuson Park in Seattle, which is sort of a semi-local park to my parents' house where I'm staying for the next six months with my girlfriend. Um, so excited to get back on this beautiful artificial pitch. It is just a sight to see. We used to play on this pitch when it was absolute garbage. It was like total like black beads everywhere, those little rubber beads that you get on uh, artificial pitches when it's kind of crappy. This one is much more like the new recycled red stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, and so I think that's like, that's something to look forward to. Um, a lot of you guys actually commented on the injury video and was saying like, oh my God, you're so positive amidst like this chaos. And to be honest, it's just kind of the job. Like I had a couple days of mourning and kind of like, wow, this really sucks. Um, but the biggest thing that I would say for you guys who are injured and in a situation where you have to have surgery or you're out for several months is just stay positive and just look at an opportunity like this one, like playing on a field like this, um, to, to keep that in the back of your mind and just say, I will be there. You know, I'm 25, I'm getting, not old, but I'm definitely in the last probably five to seven years of my career and super, super excited about getting back on the field, even if that's, you know, it's, it's only about five years away until I stop playing soccer. Hopefully it's a little bit longer than that, but you always gotta stay positive, always gotta look forward to what the next thing is because it's really important for your mental health. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, on a totally other note, I get to drive the silver bullet the Prius baby, let's go. All right, for any of you car lovers out there who enjoy vehicles and enjoy any sort of, excuse me, oh, any sort of semblance of a driving experience, Priuses are awesome. Uh, this is just a PSA. Priuses are great for gas mileage and that's about it. Driving experience is pretty bad to be honest. And uh, yeah, just gonna, get home and have a, I had a little bit of, of a protein bar. So that's, I guess we'll hop into that really quick. So I had a little bit of a protein bar for breakfast at about 5.30 this morning when I got up. It's about 6.15 now and just absolutely buzzing for a probably 75 minute bike ride today. Um, we're gonna do a bike ride and then an upper body lift or a lower body lift. I haven't really decided yet, but that's kind of the plan. All right, I'll see you guys back at home. All right guys, so I'm about to hop on the bike really quick. I'm very excited for this workout, but what I wanted to show you really fast was the first piece of merch that I will be hopefully releasing soon, just getting sort of the product stuff figured out, but this is just a water bottle that'll be on my website. There'll be shirts, sweatshirts, all that stuff that I'm super stoked about. Um, so it's got my logo kind of on here and it just looks awesome. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get a couple different colors, which will be great, and then we'll go from there. So really nice steel water bottle that you can pick up um, with the logo on it. So super stoked about it. Let's hop into the workout. So that was about 65 minutes on the bike. Gonna hop into a lift right now. We're gonna do lower body, uh, posterior pelvic, posterior chain. So lots of hamstring, lots of glute stuff. Um, and let's get after it. I'll put all the workouts in the description below. So make sure to go check that out and you can follow along.
All right, so one of the biggest things mid-set here um, that you guys wanna make sure that you do, especially when it's a home workout, is just make sure that you're doing sets and reps that are consistent with the workouts that you'd normally do at a gym. So for me, a lot of this stuff is gonna be as heavy as I can possibly find. I've got 40 pound, it's like 23 kilo dumbbells. Um, and so it's, yeah, that's about as heavy as I can go. So I'm going, single leg instead of double leg. So if you think about, if I'm gonna squat, I'm gonna do a squat with, let's say I'm squatting 200 pounds and I'm doing a 200 pound squat. Instead, why don't I do pistol squats with 100 pounds each? That is sort of a little bit equitable, plus you get the benefits of doing a single leg exercise, which is super, super helpful. On the contrary, if I'm doing posterior chain stuff, so hamstrings and glutes, what I did here was I did 80 pounds or 40 pound dumbbells, that's the heaviest I have, and then single leg deadlifts. So it makes it a little similar to what you would be doing if it was a heavier set, just like I'm doing now. And then we'll hop into uh, some lunges and stuff, which I'll explain, obviously, and you'll see in the description below. So just something to keep in mind, do single leg stuff instead of double leg stuff if you don't have weights that go all the way up to big barbells with lots of stuff like that. So let's hop into it. That is it for the workout. Super stoked to get that down here in the basement. Um, very just excited. Oh, hello. This is Tiger. <laughs> uh, very excited to get some food in me. I have not eaten much all day. I just had that protein bar. So gonna head upstairs, grab uh, some food, probably just some eggs, vegetables, potatoes, if I can find some. Um, and then we will go from there. Um, today is gonna be pretty geared towards, ooh, okay, the cat is messing with the tripod. Hey, tiger. Anyway, so just about to go get some food and then I'm going to pretty much work the rest of the day. I've got a therapy appointment, sort of a pre-surgery habilitation type program with some massage therapists. Um, there's actually two, I've got like back-to-back -back appointments uh, to get me all sorted and sort of some accelerated healing processes for when the surgery happens. Countdown is six days from today, it's Tuesday, and I've got surgery on the third, which is on a Monday. So very stoked to get that ready to go, um, done, dusted, and ready to get back on the pitch as soon as possible. So let's hop upstairs. I'll show you guys what I'm eating, uh, of course, and we'll get after some work with the YouTube video. All right guys, as you saw from breakfast, uh, it had about five or so eggs, um, and then I got some onions, mushrooms, bacon, and spinach that was all 
in there did it on the griddle top which was great basically all you have to do is crack the eggs on the griddle uh, crack the yolks spread it out so that it when it's still runny so that it gets into like a big rectangle shape throw all the stuff on one side and then roll it up like so super straightforward really delicious lots of good nutrients in there and really really sets me up for the rest of the day which is fantastic gonna grab a shower and then hop into some work for the rest of the afternoon before I get going to my massage therapy appointment. I actually have no idea what's actually gonna happen during that appointment, so I gotta figure out kind of what that looks like. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film in the actual appointment itself, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, it might be a little boring this afternoon, but that's okay, stay tuned for the rest of the day and we'll talk about some uh, mindset things as well because I know that's really important for the surgery and making sure that I stay super positive moving forward. So I'll catch up with you guys in just a bit uh, after some work and then I'll see you guys on my way to the appointment this afternoon. All right, fam, on my way to the PT place. I'm really excited to get some of this PT done just because I wanna make sure that I'm healing as quickly as possible. One of the things that is often overlooked in rehab, especially when you get injured, is the pre prehab essentially to the surgery or whatever type of operation you're getting. It's really important to make sure that you have loose muscles, you're getting fitness sorted out in whatever way you possibly can. Obviously with a foot injury, I can do a little bit uh, of lifting and then the biking workout like you saw this morning. So those are things that you can kind of think about and say, hey, you know, again, do what you can with what you have. For me, that's a bunch of dumbbells, pull up bar, bike, I uh, can't do elliptical or the treadmill, obviously, but that's kind of what I have. And it's really important to get what you can done um, with the stuff that you have. And so this LMP, this lady who has an LMP, the licensed massage therapist, I think it is, um, is, is perfect. So I can get some uh, experience hopefully some exponential healing after the operation happens, which I'm very excited about. So again, countdown, six days. Here we go, and I'll catch up with you guys in just a bit. Oi, okay. The, this First of all, this mask thing is very new for me. Uh, that is it for the massage therapy. Holy moly. Uh, it went super well. So basically what I got done was a lot of anti-inflammatory work. So a lot of it is sort of, uh, I don't really know the technical term for it. So sorry guys. Uh, but yeah, it was awesome. I feel really good. I'm actually going to head to pick my dad up from the office, from his office. Cause I've got, uh, sort of his car and driving the Acura right now, which is exciting for those of you car nerds out there. Yeah. So went really well. My goal is to get this work done anywhere between two and four weeks post-op start up again, uh, partially because there's obviously going to be a scar. So it's going to be a little bit different. Um, and when I'm thinking about this mentally, I've got to run in just a little bit to go down there. Um, but I do want to kind of mention the mental side of things. And when you have something to look forward to, i.e. you've got a an appointment, you've got uh, some sort of thing that you're looking forward to in fitness, something that you're looking forward to in the rehab process. Uh, you know what I'm really looking forward to? I'm really looking forward to playing video games with my younger siblings because that is something that I don't often get to do because I'm so busy with football and YouTube and all that stuff. And being able to do that and having that healthy sound mind is absolutely key to making sure you stick with uh, the schedule and you get healthy really on time. The mind-body connection is absolutely huge and you have to make sure that that is on point. So that is my little uh, tidbit of advice for those of you who are injured right now and don't have kind of, you, you don't have a direction and you don't really know where you're going. Start with that. Start with the little things. Start with getting to know what you really want to do and what are the little things that you're looking forward to every day. I'll talk to you guys in just a bit. All right, fam, I am in my dad's office really quick. I gotta be kind of quiet, um, but it is an absolutely beautiful view of the city. Look at that. So sick, hey. So I'm gonna get some work done right now. Um, it's 
about, let's see, six o'clock, I think, in the afternoon. Pop my phone out really quick. Oh, 6.30, so it's about 6.30. I'm gonna do dinner. We have like a stir fry with my parents and stuff at home, um, but I'll check in with you guys later because my youngest sibling and I are gonna play some Paladins tonight, um, trying to get on and play just a little bit, have a little bit of fun, uh, especially getting up to surgery. I wanna, you know, make sure I got my skills up before I get my ass handed to me by, you know, little five-year-olds on the video games. So that's gonna be my afternoon and evening, but I'll check in with you guys tonight when I am playing. It's been a wonderful afternoon. Um, the therapy went really well and I had another appointment which you guys will find out in a later video what that was uh, it was it's very secretive hush hush uh, but yeah hopefully uh, yeah anyway anybody important who's watching this video don't think twice about it anyway all right I'll see you guys in a little bit bye how was your day oh I just had a bunch of stuff I was doing I had like a bunch of work I'm filming a vlog today and I am, let's see, what else? I just got up super early to go to do the sunrise, got some drone shots, then did a bunch of work, did like a two and a half hour workout, and went and saw Whimsy, the physical therapist person, and then somebody right after her, and then another quick errand, and then pick up dad from dad's office, and then I just got home. Uh, hold, oh, he, I'm in the, uh, I'm in the, his party now. Here, let's, hold on one sec. I'm gonna invite him to our uh, Discord. I'm gonna get off. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right guys, that is it for the video. I'm about to head to bed, it's about 9.30. Hope you enjoyed that video, day in the life. It's pretty straightforward. A lot of it is keeping up cardio, um, lots of prehab, which is super important for the surgery coming up on Monday. T minus six days until the surgery. Make sure you like the video if you got value from it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.